Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Grand Prix World and another part of our career mode. Today we are slap bang in the middle of season seven. Uh, we're about to hopefully take a step in the right direction. We've got a car upgrade ready. Um, we are about to get into some licensing, which is great. Uh, the, the sponsor package is complete. Everything is good. Uh, the, the one worry is that we are going to run it pretty close with finances this year. Uh, I'm hoping that with the licensing and what have you, we will make a little bit more money towards the end of the season. And that will keep us afloat going into next year where we will have slightly more in terms of sponsorship. But uh, I was a complete idiot in the last Grand Prix. I forgot to fix up the cars which uh, meant that Mika Hakkinen retired with a part failure. That was a, a big disappointment, really. But uh, let's see how we get on. Leave a like if you're enjoying. Get involved down in the comment section, all that good stuff. Uh, and let's get into the episode. So a little look at the news. Um, Ferrari have uh, completed a, a team sponsorship deal with Winfried. Uh, Barrichello won the race. Uh, Mika, Mika Hakkinen's not happy. Uh, anything else there? Uh, Jordan signed signed up Bick in the end. Uh, ch -ch -ch anything else? Um, I don't think so. I think that's all fine. Right. Uh, let's have a little look at the uh, emails. So we did make a small loss at the last Grand Prix. Ready to upgrade the cars, which is perfect. Shut up about testing. Um... Patronus assigned. Mobile has reduced its support. I'm not really bothered about that. We have got a race advantage. And we have got the fixed deal with East, so that's perfect. Um, and hopefully we can get a couple more guarantees for next year as well. But we can now take everybody off the East deal, at the very least. We don't need them there we also will not need them as our vip partners anymore so uh who do we want to bring along patronus might be a decent one why don't we try and bring mobile and goodyear along and then uh, try and get those deals guaranteed for next season um i deal yeah, that's the one that I want guaranteed more, so we'll play the success card on that. Uh, let's see how we're doing with licensing. That's looking good. All right, we're going to increase that to 10%, increase that to 15%. And then we can start building our way up, I think. Should be awesome. Nice. Okay. Right, um, let's have a look at the cars then. So we should be ready to uh, upgrade the car, which we are. Let's see what sort of up improvement we're going to get. 76%, that's awesome. Very, very good. Um, that's already finished. Technology-wise, we're ready to upgrade that. Uh, we are going to increase the, the reliability, hopefully, of the car a little bit more. Whoops, don't want 100% on that. We want 50% on it. Uh, we can upgrade the technology, we can upgrade the chassis, and we'll see how much next year's cars are here. It was about 650 at the last Grand Prix, it is 600 here, so I am going to build one of next year's cars here. Um, and we'll hold out for the next ones. Uh, testing wise, we're going to do some development testing as well so we are going to have to increase our mileage probably back to about 80 that's fine so i'll go 25 percent in each of them that's fine um ah the cars are destroyed <laughs> that is why I'm going to need some more mechanics. Good job. Good job we've seen that. Um, so 
This is going to turn out to be a bit of an expensive round for us because uh, it's all because I forgot to fix the cars up, and that's um, that's annoying. It's very annoying. Right, uh, let's get this sorted out then. Um, Nice, okay, so we've uh, discovered that. Let's go and s immediately begin work on it. Um, so we will have a new front wing for the next Grand Prix. Let's pass on those research points. And let's get these cars fixed up. Okay, so should have an absolutely full beans car for the next Grand Prix. Right, uh, let's get the spare parts back up a little bit. While we're spending the money this Grand Prix, we might as well just go with it, go with the floor. absolutely fine um, it is going to be a big cost this round but we're still 2 million into the black right there we go full quarter spare parts that should keep us going for a little bit uh everything else is fine we have got one of our 2004 car five cars which is brilliant uh let's head to the commercial land of opportunity um and there was nothing else that we needed to do there we sorted that out that's fine okay on to the next grand prix then and uh, after two one-twos in the last episode and uh, the third race being a victory, I've got high hopes. High hopes for this track. Um, but we'll see when we get into the Grand Prix. Perfect. Right, let's do it then. Let's get into it. Uh, what are we looking at for qualifying then? 20 degrees, very dry, very low wind speed. And let's see how we get on in this qualifying session. Third and fourth, not too bad. Uh, right on the pace. I mean, we were two thousandths of a second off pole position, uh, man, Esteban Tuero. Uh, Panis, fraction of a second off. Hakkinen, a fraction of a second off. And Barrichello, only two hundredths behind that. So very, very tight at the top there. Um, we just lost out to Ferrari there, but that shows the improvement because we were a couple of tenths behind before and now you know we're right on their pace in qualifying on the hard tire so you know if we if we fancy some pole positions later down the line then we can we can we can do that um new rubber for barrichello i am going to go for used rubber for mika hakkinen this time that was a bad idea um yeah, we're going to go with scrub tyres. He's going to come in on lap 36. And run a little bit longer into the race. Uh, and then a little bit lighter. Later on, let's see how we get on this time. Well, we win again. And it's uh, Barrichello that wins it once again. Dominates the Grand Prix ahead of Panis and Tuero in second and third. Saras in fourth. Irvine fifth. Magnussen in sixth place. What happened to Mika Hakkinen? Engine failure once again. The Ferrari engine just letting us down sometimes, but Barrichello increases his lead in the driver's standings to five points, 21 points ahead of his teammate Hakkinen now. We are still leading the constructors, which I guess is good. Um, you can see money staying fairly stable 
from Grand Prix to Grand Prix. Which is good. Uh, three races in a row for Rubens Barrichello, which is awesome. Tuero obviously had pole position. Um... Adrian Newey has gone to Prost. Wow, that's a big deal. That is a huge deal for them. Uh, anything else there? Don't think so. Um, big loss at the last Grand Prix, but that was to be expected. Uh, yeah, of course. Right, commercial-wise, what have we got... Yes, we have got the fixed deal with Goodyear and with Mobile. Perfect. License and deal ready for the fan club. Uh, third straight win. Okay. Right. Let's uh, head to the commercial land of opportunity. And, we, yeah, we don't need to worry about that. We can take everybody off the Goodyear deal now. And take everybody off the... Uh, mobile deal. Yeah, pretty close with FedEx. We're just going to chuck 5% on that HSBC deal. And uh, another 10% on the Patronus deal. To just try and tick that along a little bit. We don't need to bring mobile and Goodyear now. Let's bring HSBC and... Well, we have got Patronus. Who's the other one? Is it FedEx? Was it FedEx that was the other... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll bring those three along to our hospitality. Uh, we can sign this straight away, which is perfect. Cash off a zero. Hang on. How come we're getting no cash for it? That makes no sense. I don't know. Right, 20% on that. Uh, we have got 20% left, so let's try and do it on the road cars. Why not? That does seem to be a hard one to get, but uh, there is demand for it at the very least. But yeah, that makes no sense about the fan club. What's the point in doing it if you're going to get no money for it? Right, uh, into the technology land. Yep. Already moving on to the CFD. Got that reliability upgrade sorted out. Oops. I'll do this one. Okay, driving aid's fine. Let's upgrade our technology. Yeah, just wasted some spare parts in that. That was idiotic on my behalf. I do apologise for being a complete dooley sometimes. Okay, perfect. Pass on the research. Um, let's get these cars fixed up. Oh, it makes me so annoyed that we... Hang on, what? That didn't seem to work. So many spare parts wasted there. That, that was just like throwing 200 grand down the drain. That was awful on my behalf. I do apologise. I have made some idiotic decisions this season. I mean, I made some idiotic decisions last season, according to you guys, uh, mainly by signing Mika Hakkinen. Um, that's actually quite a cheap car for next year, so let's get that sorted. We are going to run dangerously close to, to zero, but I'm not sure we're actually going to dip under at this point. I think um, I think we're going to be all right. I really do believe that. Um, next season could be the, the tricky one. 
to handle. And well, and also if we win both championships, where are we getting that money from? <laughs> That's another question. Uh, another go good question at that as well. Um, how much are shares looking at at the moment? Fairly healthy. Um, as I say, I mean, I think if if we're struggling by the end of the season, I do think we just absolutely max out the loan because we're not going to be repaying it until the end. I think uh, I think that's a really important point because over forty eight races, it's uh, that's going to last a long time, seventy five million, but. We'll see. We'll see. Right. Uh, on to the next Grand Prix, then. Here we go. Still nothing confirmed about next year's uh, technology stuff. Oh, well. Um, it's Germany, so I think we do want a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and a little bit of that. A little bit of that, a little bit of that, and a little bit of that. Perfect. Right, on to the next Grand Prix then. In Deutschland. Uh, 29 degrees in overcast for qualifying. Let's see how we get on with Rubens Barrichello. Ooh. Only 8th place for Barrichello. Wow, he's 1.3 seconds off the pace of Hakkinen. What on earth has happened there? He just didn't get a clean lap in. Clearly. Oh, for goodness sake. Let's move the blooming screen again. Never mind. 22 degrees and dry for your race. Um, yeah, big shock there for Barrichello. He's going to be doing... 24 laps to begin with and then coming in with 21 but it's quite worrying because Hakkinen's car has definitely been the less reliable of the two um, and he's our main protagonist today and Barrichello leading the driver's standings but how are we going to get on in the race there is going to be a podium Oh, one, two. That is what we like to see. Hakkinen wins the race. Only five seconds ahead of Rubens Barrichello in the end. And that just shows that Rubens is just on fire at the moment. But that is his streak of race wins over Hakkinen. Uh, his personal streak is, uh, streaks of not finishing the race is over as well. Uh, Esteban Tuero rounds out the podium. Saracen in fourth for Williams. Uh, Watton Magnussen for Arrows finish uh, off the points. Uh, Barrichello leading the way by 11 points over Panis now, so he can't afford a DNF. Hopefully won't get one. Uh, and Hakkinen uh, reduces the arrears to 17 points. And now we uh, massively increase our Constructors' Championship lead to uh, 18 points and, and that is big at this point of the season so uh, big loss at the last Grand Prix but you see that money there didn't change and that's kind of the thing we're spending a lot of money at the moment on our um, on our spare parts and our team and, and whatever but um, it's not it, it's not affecting us too much but uh, next time out we will have the 2004 season finale and it is going to be a big one we've got a lot of races to cover it's going to be exciting i really can't wait for it and hopefully you guys uh, can't too can't wait to, to bring it to you next time out so if you've enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more grand prix world content and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye